He did not record. Can't even have a talk with you. I was saying that a lot has happened since your battery died. Apparently, not only since then. Um, for example, I started listening to Taylor Swift's new album, which I wasn't going to do. I saw it on Spotify a few days ago, and I was like, no, not my thing. I am not the biggest fan of hers. I'm not really even a fan of hers. I don't really like a lot of things about her. However, I do like some songs, and I really like this album. One of the things that I like about this album is the positivity in regards to love, relationships, stuff like that so my friend sent me this is how I, it all started you better not quit on me so it started because my friend sent me I forgot that you existed I was like okay well I get why she sent it to me and it's cool but I don't really like it because it has no melody I do like that she's not screaming because it, it just doesn't sound pleasing to my ears when she's screaming the notes but I don't like that it had kind of like no musical life to it it was okay but then I back to the home page because I was on YouTube and I saw Lover. I fell in love with Lover and I recorded it on my phone. I recorded my reaction to most of it twice. I watched it twice. I love that. I love the video. I love the lyrics. I love the message. The biggest thing that I loved was about it was that it has such a positive light and attitude towards relationships and it had positive relationships. I love Lover, the music video to the song Lover. So then I started going on on Spotify and I listened to The Archer first of course didn't like it I then listened to The Man which is the one above that I like it it's okay I like the message you know it's it's pretty accurate I think he knows is okay it's a, I like that song too Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince though however I don't know if I can like play any of this to you in the background even it's kind of like the lover it has a unique sound it has a beautiful sound it has like the I think you would call it the production I like that she sounds different in both like melody and her voice she's again not screaming i don't think she screams at all in this i like her deep voice i like her i like her voice and i like the choices she made with notes on this it sounds like a, a song something like i forgot that you exist it sounds more like a math problem and then after this came paper rings at first i was like this is like that punk rock people listened to when I was in high school and uh, ever since. I really like the lyrics and I I love the lyrics. And I really like, um, I, I like this, all of it. I just love the positive attitude she has towards relationships and love and... I'm so happy, like, between her and Ashley, I, and Jared, and I just, I love that this is happening right now. It's due, we're due for happy love, relationships being a positive thing and being seen in a positive light, but yeah, let's, let's go all for, like, positive things. The other, oh, yeah, the other, don't talk about positive, my coworker sent me something over that, like, took my breath away. But then I spoke with a friend and me, basically made me see the positive part of it, or the positive side, and take it in a positive way, which is very fitted with where I am in life right now in this past week, and I can't think of anything, because right now I'm, like, very at peace and happy and blah, just like, ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm in a very good place like my life is and that's how I started talking to my friend but I was like I can't believe my life right now it is really good and nothing's really changed or happening but I can't believe my life right now and she's like what do you mean well she said yeah but that was like what do you mean <laughs> But I can't believe all the positive and good things that are coming, that are happening, that are that have already happened. Like even with this negative thing that happened, uh, that my coworker sent over, and I mean it's not a negative thing, but the things behind it are kind of negative. But even that, I was like, wait, but I have something that turns that into a very positive thing, into exactly what it needs to be, and this this meeting also now is like even more positive than it was 
before and it's it just all is coming together i am i cannot the thing is i can't believe what my life is right now in terms of i can't believe that i did nothing like none of that application is why i'm here and why i'm like good that is completely irrelevant absolutely irrelevant those did not gain me confidence they didn't gain me anything they come and go and i think some things in life are like that they're insignificant that i did nothing i did nothing all I did was wake up and simultaneously stop and start at the same time, which is redundant to say I know. I did nothing. I didn't change my attitude. I mean, I did, but like, I didn't do it. Does that make sense? Like, I didn't. It just hit me. I just opened my eyes. It's like the world started turning again. My world stopped. And it's turning again now. It's alive again. I'm alive. My life is alive again. And I'm just like blown away because I did nothing. And in doing nothing, my life changing, then I was able to do something. If I would have done the things that I've done now prior to this week, it would not have worked out. That's what I'm trying to say. I would have not gotten the same resolutions or I don't want to say results because there's no results, but I wouldn't have gotten the same things out of, out of them. Does that make sense? It is like my attitude or whatever, but it's like, I just, want, I, I especially want to say this for people who have been told like, you got to change your attitude. You got to change. I know that you can't. I get it. You won't be able to. When you're depressed, you won't be able to be happy. When you're afraid, you won't be able to have courage. You just don't. When you're blind, you're not going to be able to see. You first have to see to be able to see. You have to be given something to, so you can make that choice. And that's not something that people, someone else gives you. It's something that the universe gives you, but you have to be able to receive it. But I'm kind of convinced that you just have to wait until it happens. I don't think there's anything you can do. I remember saying this to someone before who was like, oh, I'm, I'll be fine. And I'm like, are you going to be fine? Or are you just saying that? Because that's what you know you should be saying. It's okay to not know if you're going to be fine. That pressure that we put on ourselves because we know people need us to say that we're fine, that we will be fine, that we're working on it, that is corrosive. It is very toxic. Don't put that pressure on yourself. It's okay to be severely depressed right now. You're depressed for a reason. However you want to see it, whether you want to see the symptom of your brain not creating the right chemicals in the right way, or what I believe the root is a discordance, or what is that word? A conflict between the truth and reality the fact is you are you won't be able to just wish it away you won't be able to want it away you won't be able to exercise it away drink it away work it away you just need to wake up and that's kind of it just happens I think you really, you are in that space right now because that's the only place you will wake up from. And my dad said something like this before and I didn't really believe him. Or I, I knew that he was right, but I didn't believe him, you know? Everything happens for a reason type of thing. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. I just want to reiterate, I did nothing. I didn't lift a finger. I lifted a finger after. I lifted many fingers since. You just have to be patient. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Be kind to yourself. That doesn't mean taking care of yourself. Doesn't mean not taking care of yourself. Just be kind to yourself by being patient with yourself.
There's nothing you need to change. You're good.